We are back here on Girl Talk. I am so excited. Guess who's here? Carmen Washington. And hey. I have not seen you honestly in forever, and I, I could not be more thrilled to talk to you today. Likewise. First of all, <laughs> You look phenomenal. Thank you. Her earrings are to die for. Yes. And her hair is gorgeous. I wish she could do a spin for you. <laughs> so I think we had to get that out first because right. that's the most important thing. But you've got all kinds of really great news. You have a new name for the company that yes. I really want to make sure everyone knows. Yes, it's no longer Signature Real Estate Group. It is now Align Right Realty, Signature Hilton Head. Okay. So that's the new name. Our new colors are orange, hence why I'm going through and rocking the orange today. Um, orange and blue actually are our colors. Oh, go check it out. She painted her wall orange in the in the um, where yes, you are. Yes, I did. Right. Yeah, I gave myself an accent wall, about three accent walls in the office, so it looks really, really good now. Along with our, our favorite agreeable gray, right? We love our agreeable. <laughs> that's exactly right. <laughs> that's what we were just talking about. Paint colors are yes, so embarrassing. Definitely, definitely. So talk to me about the market. From what I understand, it is every man for himself. It, it is, is really. It is really every man for themselves for sure. It's just, it's a very aggressive market. Um, you know, some people are doing escalation clauses. They're just waiving inspections and all that kind of stuff. I'm what not is all that? What does that mean even? I mean, well, I, well, I, well, one, let me just say, I don't believe in that. I okay. really, really don't. I mean, I, you know, you I'm old school. I've been doing this thing for a long time. So yeah. what goes up always comes down. And um, so, what well, escalation clauses is basically saying, whatever your highest bet, bid is, okay. I will beat it by X amount of dollars. So, I mean, that's just crazy. And then waiving inspections, I mean, if you get something that's kind of older, you're gonna do some work on, okay, fine. Right. But if you're a first time home buyer, I mean, the- Don't the, do it. Don't do it, no, no, no. And I always tell my clients, I said, listen, the right one is for you, we'll just wait. You know what I'm saying, until that comes. Because I can't in good conscience do that. I just, I don't recommend that. How many agents do you have working for you now? 15, and matter of fact, we have a new agent, okay. actually, James um, Bishop Fortner. Right. Fortner. So um, I'm excited, so yeah, we are consist uh, consistent Consistently growing. I've got two others since we did the rollout that have also, um, they're also coming in, coming on. Do you all like to specialize in certain areas of the low country or are you all pretty broad spectrum and you, you sort of get a real great flavor of everything? Right, I encourage them to go through and just do everything. I mean, real estate is real estate, you know, yeah. but if you, it's something with the exception of commercial. Okay. Commercial's a whole other beast. Got it. But if you're just doing like, who can sell this? Mm -hmm. I love, <laughs> oh my gosh, if you need a real estate agent, you let me know. There you go, <laughs> exactly, exactly. I don't know, I'm kind of ready to downsize now. Yeah, okay. Are you finding that people are doing that? They they are, too. yeah. We are, we're having a lot of downsides. People are just getting simpler, just open floor plans yeah. and just relax. They want to be, they want to, it's all about outside living here. That's the thing. And I also think I'm finding that and a lot of people are also looking for acreage. So when COVID happened, everybody else was actually cooped in, but not me. I was out in the street. Well, that's what we were myself. talking about, yeah. <laughs> it was wonderful though, because nobody else was out, so we didn't have any traffic jams or anything. But people just went like crazy. So they went and they were just buying up everything. They wanted land, they wanted to be by themselves. We I sold several oh, New Yorkers. They did. They wanted five, seven, ten acres. That was their thing. So anytime we got land, the land went just like that. Oh, that's so interesting. It kind of does make sense when you think of the pandemic and being near a lot of. I never thought about right. that as mm -hmm. being a selling point. Yes, yes. So the land land sales did good. We had a lot of people uh, buying condos okay. also. So I sold a lot Renov of renovations. Yeah, renovations. Oh yes, always. <laughs> that's what we're hearing in the background. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. So renovations was one thing because well we I, I always kind of encourage them to get the ugly one and yeah. then make it pretty. Yeah. You've so, always said that. Yeah, you know, because that's just it doesn't. I mean, some people aren't really that skill. So they're going to say, okay, I'll just buy somebody else's design. Right. But you know, you and I, we're unique. And I like to give a little flavor of my Your own. own. Right. You know, I don't want to pay for somebody else's. Make so. a house a home. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love that. Right. Are you selling all over out in, is Bluffton selling? Are there areas that are just growing yeah, and exploding? Yeah, you know, uh, Hardyville is the hot spot. Hardyville is definitely the hot spot. Hardyville, Ridgeland, because again, land. You know, Okay, that's we, fair. Yeah, yep. yep, yep. We don't have a lot of land in other places. So yeah, Hardyville, um, Ridgeland, um, Tillman, even oh, especially when they had that big um, um, golf thing. At oh yeah, that's yeah, Congaree, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm, out in, in Gillisonville, Tillman. So that's big. 
uh, and also Savannah, because I'm also licensed in Georgia. See, I so, love Savannah. Yeah, it's nice. But you know, when you get out in the Pooler, Rankin, Guyton mm -hmm. areas, though it's areas of Springfield. It's really funny because I remember when I moved here, it was like going from here to the bridge was like an excursion. It really And is. now it's it's really all over the place. I found that um, Bl or Bluffton, Savannah has some great restaurants. And they do. I hadn't been over there forever. I think it's number one. It's it, I know it was last year. Last year, number one for tourism. So oh, people, is it? Yeah, so people are just coming in droves. And everybody's leaving New Jersey. New Jersey's number one. And then New Jersey, New York, number one and number two are the places that people are leaving to okay. come down here. And we're, I think, number four. Are you getting younger clients who are saying, you know what, I'm not going to wait till I'm 60 to, to come down. I'm going to come now while they I... They are because with so many people being able to work at, from home, that's the right. big thing. Mm -hmm. Yep, so it's a lot of that. They're able to work pretty much from everywhere. So they're just like, Carmen, just find me something way out. I don't want to look at my neighbors or whatever. Which I'm kind of like, really? Because I'm a people's person. Me too. You know? <laughs> I want a neighbor. No, I, me too. Yeah, I totally I, agree yeah, with that. Yeah, so, but you know, they don't, they don't want to see neighbors. They don't want to do anything but just nature, trees, and by themselves. Well, in case you haven't figured it out, she has a big personality. She's a wonderful realtor. <laughs> I absolutely love her. And the Thank name you. of your new place. Online Right Realty, Signature Hilton Head. Check it out. The orange wall is pretty cool. Stay with us. There's more to come here on Girl Talk.